Rail Roko protest cell in Bad Badlapur railway station over alleged sexual assault of two nursery children by male attendant. Nagaland Directorate of School Education has launched investigation into the alleged absence of teachers at government middle school Yanpa in Bandari. Search operations by security forces underway in Udhampur's Dudu area. Supreme Court hearing on projector at Arjikar Medical College and Hospital. President Dorputu Murmu confers National Geoscience Award. Welcome to Nagaland TV, the voice of all the people and I am our anchor Musarraf Ali and you are watching Nagaland News Now. Two nursery children, Badlabur, Thane district were allegedly sexually assaulted by a male school attendant. Police reported one of the children, a four-year-old toddler. Parents who when then contacted the other girl's family, both girl's parents filed a complaint. After learning, the attendant had abused them while taking them to the washroom. The parents sought medical tests and lost an fire at Badlapur East Police Station on Friday night. This morning, people gathered at Badlapur Railway Station to protest, demanding justice and attempting to stop uh, train movements with slogan, Rail Roko. This incident has happened with a junior KG student. Principal, class teacher and two assistants are suspended. The incident happened between August 13 to August 16. The complainant was filed on August 18 for nearly eight hours. The consensus was taken by the local police station, says Maharashtra Minister Deepak, Deepak Keshkar on the alleged sexual assault of two nursery kids by a male <laughs> attendant in Badlapur. Notably, Chief Minister Eknath Sinde orders case to be fast-tracked, warns strict action against accused. hours has sparked a government investigation. The footage shows the school's gate shut and unattended, leading to a public outcry. The school was supposed to be open, prompting the government to issue a show cause notice to the management and launch a prop. Authorities are investigating whether the closure was due to administrative mismanagement or other factors. The Education Department is reviewing the incident and plans to implement measures to prevent it from happening again. Meanwhile, the community is waiting for the investigation's outcome to ensure accountability. This action follows a video from August 16 showing students stranded outside closed classrooms in response. The principal director of school education, Tavaslan K, has asked the subdivisional education officer, SDEO, Bandari for a detailed report by August 20 to take disciplinary action against the teachers involved. Aro student union laga president gibi kotha kor sabo aro ta laga opinion bi tulao podi ki ase aman hota baji kor sabo acha president ma'am moi apni ke ekta khuti mun jado apni an ekta student organization ase aro itu lao podi itu ongoing viral video amhan so manula hate aise aro aman tiki hobo pare ase to on that august 16 laga issue lao podi apni an student union khan apni an press list bi amhan tiki se to ile do apni an next Katam next action do abnihan ki lobo le ase aro abnihan on behalf of student union government aro uh, concerned department khan ge abnihan ki message tiwo mun ja ase thank you annual tv for being here uh, to be very honest uh, the issue is not only about 16 august but it has been uh, we, we we the student union the smc the council we have been tackling this issue way back uh, 6 or 7 years uh, we have been tackling this uh, since very long back uh, see uh, amihan uh, 
কমিটি খান জয়েন্ট মিটিং পি লুছি দে টিচার খান লোকটি বি এস এম সি খান হলিবি কনসিল খান হলিবি আমি হান একই লোকটি জয়েন্ট মিটিং কমিউনিটি হল বার হল বার লুছে I was appointed in the year 2021 as a president of Yampa Student Union and from that very moment I took a joint uh, meeting with the uh, uh, teachers as well. So the day they were meeting lot and debate the hamper be a cha palba grew up in a quota kushe to it on a me hambi manigina tick as a queen of goody she day to it to be to be a row 2023 we had another joint meeting where we have a proof of every of the signatures teacher khan signature can be poor register be maintain kuna sa they promise that they will do their duty well to the khan ba phal bu group kuna ta khan promise kuna signature be marigina sa huli bi inna ka kuna bi ta khan reckless na ulda bulda nuli bi ta khan la tu di do phal bar bi kam bi nukri na ahia sa aro i do body this year in the month of april lotus student union aro amihan ysu kam bi visit kuri she we had a dog we even had a joint meeting here in the office itself huli bi তাহানবি দেদে এল এস ইউ খামে বিচার নিয়ে আসে আমি বিচার নিয়ে আসে তাহান কি খোটা কুশে তাহান কি ভাল বা কাম করবো কই না তাহান খোটা কুশে আমি হান সব রেকর্ড আছে হলি বি স্টিল দেন তাহান এনাকা টিচার্স কি সেভেন টিচার্স আছে টোটালি প্রাইমারি আর মিডল মিলাই না ইন টোটালস উই হ্যাভ সেভেন টিচার্স হলি বি খোপর হুনা তো স্টুডেন্ট খানলা প্যারেন্টস খানবা নুলিবি কনসিল নুলু এস এম সি খানলা তাহান লা নিউজ খান তাহান লা ইটু খোপর খান চানা ভরা তো Tuesday, Tuesday, teachers Monday they are here. Tuesday they are here. Two days been here now. They go back to Timapur. Ina kana. Abni abni ane ida anil divan. Abni ane ida Timapur. It it do news to it do an interview kan khatam here now. Jaa se gulo ta ta kambi ta abni hanla piche piche are here. Ina kala kana sile ta kanto. To Tuesday be palbar be nukure. Of course, abhi abni hanla sab manu kurmen job to juje na. তা হাম জুটি সে মুই বি টিচার একটা করবো পাচা হাঙ্গি শিখাবো জুটি সে গভর্নমেন্ট টিচার জব করবোলে তাহাম বি জুটি সে বলি বি জুজু কি না পাই কি না ওয়াই আর এন দি ডুইং ফেটফুলি তাহান লা ওয়ার্ক তো কিলে ফেটফুল নকরে ওয়াই আর এন দি কনসিস্টেন্ট ইন টিচিং টু দ্য স্টুডেন্টস আমি আমি মোখান লা কনসার্ন ইটু স্টুডেন্ট খাঙ্গে তাহান লা ফিউচার দা ভাল হুই তো বলে কারণে আমি আমি ইমান ট্রাই করে হলি বি তাহাম পরে হি কোপারেট নকরে তাহাম পরে হি এক্সকিউসেস ইমান দে স্পেশালি আমি হালে হেড টিচার আপেন তিন কীতান আমি আলা ফোন বি কল বি রিসিভ ইন নকরে টাইমিং দেবি নকরে এই দোকানে তাই তাই কমিউনিকেশন কেপ বেশি হয়ে যায় কিবা কিবি টিচার্স খাম মুই গে পেরেন্টস আবার আমি গে কল করে মুই ট্রান্সফার সার্টিফিকেট দুবল মন যাচ্ছে কি না করবো আকা না একবার প্লিজ বড়া খবর দি লুবি না কুলো দা আমি মুই বি ইমান কনসার্ন করি না হেড টিচারকে কল করে দো কল হি নথাই নইলে বি হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ দিয়ে টেক্স লিভ করে দিলে বি হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ পিন না সাই রিড পিন নকরে nothing his excuses is i'm traveling there i'm here i'm there and there in akhay ko to i don't know what to say to any it's my humble request to the lotus student union as well to the rasu uh, to the ralan era student as well to the asto civil and to the naga student federation to take a you know immediate action on these teachers appointed at yampa village okay i just want to speak about the infrastructure uh, teachers camber kwase light nai current nai na তাহান দুঃখ পায় শিখাবলে অফকোর্স লাইট তো কিলে না চাও আমি হাঁ লাখর দেবি যায় সব লাখর দেবি নাগালেন্ড বুড়া লাইট তো চাই তো ইটু দিস ইস আর দিস আর জাস্ট লেম এক্সকিউসেস দিস আর জাস্ট লেম এক্সকিউসেস তে লাইট না থেকে লিবি ইনভার্টার হালে না আসে গুছে তো ইটু খাম্বার বি জুলাই না শিখাবলে পারবো তো তাহান সিক্সটিন অগস্টে আরও কারি পেয়ে অবশ্যই গুছে তাহান বোকাচান বা রোদ তো মহান্ত বেশি রাস্তা আছে নিউ ল্যান্ড ফালা বেয়ারবি আইব পারে বোকাচান রাস্তা ফালা বেয়ারবি আইব পারে তাহান কারি পেয়ে পেয়ে অবশ্যই তো কেবরেজ ইস এভ্রিওয়ের রাস্তা খানতে পিছে আছে ই তখন ইট মাই টেক হাফ এন আওয়ার ইট মাই টেক ওয়ান আওয়ার পানা না আহিবি না না ই তো ওয়ান স্কুল বি এইট পাজি দিয়ে স্টার্ট হয়ে কয় কীটাবা তো নাইন থার্টি নাকা টিচার খান আহে কয় তো তখন ই তো মর্নিং দা আজি তো সাবি তখন নিউজ পাইছে কি না উইনা সব আহি না পুঁজিছে ইটু তো আমি হাম্বি একু না চেনে দে আদারওয়াইজ এজ পেরেন্টস টোল দে আর নেভার প্রেজেন্ট এট এট টাইমস টিচার কম্বা কম্বে আইয়ে খুশি উলবে আজি তো অফিস ভিতর দিবি চাই না সানা তাহান কি মন চুন আই না আসে আমি হাম্বি না চেন উলবে তাহাম্বি ইটু খবর পা কারণে ইটু ভিডিও খান টিকা কারণে তাহাম্বি আইছে আর ওয়ান থিং ইউ ক্যান একোমোডেশন ফালে দে ইয়ামভা ভিলেজ দে সিক্সটি প্লাস হাউস হোল আছে দে এম ডি হাউসেস এম ডি রুমস ফটা আছে তাহান তেদের রেন্ট বি লোক পারে তে আর আর্নিং তে আর রিসিভিং পেমেন্ট সেলারি বাসে তো তেদের রেন্ট দে ওয়ান থাউজেন্ড তেদের স্পেন্ড করা হতো কি যায় তাহা তাহা কারণে তো বেশি প্রফিট আছে না ইটু আমি ঘর দেবি ঘর ইটু ইয়ামফা ভিলেজ একোমোডেশন ঘর খাম্বি রুম খাম্বি বেশি আছে 
they can ask, they can go, they can request to the owners. I mean, they did cruel. I share they did a point crucial. I mean, I posting to it. They say to I'm hanging para the war, but I'm hanging the boo, but the water need to war. And now, Gushilo, uh, concern owners can be a cha, Mohana Pusika, and they but Hank and they say, why not they will give accommodation? Why not they will uh, give a rain? Honan Hoyto, you don't want the eight digits come back. You can say you don't want to sublime excuses as they win a more up hanging. A 20-year-old Dalit nurse working at a hospital in Moradabad was allegedly raped by Dr. Shanawas. The hospital's owner, on Saturday night when the doctor's wife was not home, the doctor called the nurse to his bedroom after she refused. Hospital staff forcefully took her to the room where the doctor assaulted her throughout the night. The next morning, the nurse informed a senior colleague and later told her family who reported the incident to the police. The police arrested Dr. Shanawas A, a ward boy named Junaid and a nurse named Manas. The hospital has been sealed and the nurse has undergone a medical examination. The authorities have registered a case under sections of rape and the SCSC Act with further action pending based on the investigation. मुरादाबाद जनपद के ठाकुरद्वारा थाना क्षेत्र में दिनांक 18 आठ दो को एक प्रार्थना पत्र प्राप्त हुआ जिसमें प्रार्थी ने बताया कि उसकी बेटी जो कि एक क्लिनिक के अंदर नर्सिंग कर्मी है उसी क्लिनिक के डॉक्टर द्वारा उसकी बेटी के साथ दुष्कर्म किया गया प्रार्थी के प्रार्थना पत्र के आधार पर तीन व्यक्तियों को नामजद किया गया है जिसमें एक व्यक्ति का नाम है शाहनवाज जो कि उस हॉस्पिटल का डॉक्टर है और दूसरा व्यक्ति है जुनैद और इसमें एक महिला है जिसका नाम है महनवाज और इन तीनों व्यक्तियों पर मुकदमा दर्ज करने दर्ज किया गया और मुकदमा बीएनएस की धारा इकसठ दो चौंसठ तीन सौ इक्यावन दो एक सौ सत्ताईस दो और एस सी के तहत मुकदमा पंजीकृत किया गया है मुकदमा दर्ज होने के बाद थाने स्तर पर एक टीम गठित की गई और तीनों व्यक्तियों की गिरफ्तारी कर ली गई पीड़िता का मेडिकल कराया गया है the Supreme Court of India held a hearing regarding the installation of a project at RG Medical College and Hospital in Kolkata. Following concerns raised about its funding and implementation, the hearing focused on whether the project aligns with the hospital's educational goals and how it will enhance the training of medical students. During this session, advocates presented arguments highlighting the importance of modern educational tools in improving medical education and patient care. They emphasized that the projector would facilitate better learning experiences for students, ultimately benefiting the healthcare system. The court requested detailed plans for the projector's installation including financial allocations and timelines. The Chief Justice noted the need for transparency in funding and implementation process, ensuring the resources are used effectively. The hearing concluded with the courts reserving its judgment on the matter. Stakeholders await the Supreme Court's decision, which will determine the project's future and its potential impact on medical education at R.J. Medical College and Hospital. Koi, koi, koi. of solidarity and demand for justice, a candlelight vigil was held in Khatkati on August 19. Organized by the Anti-Corruption Youth Power Assam, ACYPA and the Khatkati Press Club, KPC, the protest was a response to the horrific crime that occurred on August 9th at Kolkata's RJ College and Hospital. The event saw a community members and activists gathering with candles to honor the victims and call for strengthened action against the perpetrators. The vigil aimed to raise awareness about the gravity of the crime and to press for justice, reflecting the community's collective grief and determination for change. The organizers emphasized the need for accountability and reform in response to such acts of violence and their peaceful protests underscored a broader call for a safer society. Or, 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 or
প্রেস ক্লাবর সহযোগত আমি আজ মৌল মৌন মৌ পিতা দেবনাথর শ্রদ্ধাঞ্জলি জ্ঞাপন করছো আর ইয়ার বিশেষ আমি কব খুঁজি যে যেহেতু ভারতবর্ষের এনে ধরনের নির্যাতন আর নারীর ধর্ষণকারী কেউ হব না আর ভবিষ্যৎ এই আমি এই ঘটনা হলে মানে আমি প্রতিবাদী কার্যসূচী লোক আমি সাজু হয়ে থাকি আর আসল ইয়াত আজি আমি ওই কলিকতা যে ধরনের ঘটনা হয়েছে যে এনে ধরনের ঘটনা নহ আমি সেই বলে আমি সরকার লগতে ভাই কেন্দ্রীয় সরকারক আমি আহ্বান জানাইছো ইয়ার উচিত তদন্ত হব লাগে আর তদন্তরে দোষী কঠুক কঠোর শাস্তি পাব লাগে আর যে এই নরফিকাস কেজনে এই ফুল কমলিয়া মনোনীতা দেবনাথক ধর্ষণ করে হত্যা করেছে আর বারংবার ওঠর করে ওঠর ওঠরবারক কামুর দিছে যে দাঁতে আক্রমণ করেছে সেই ঘটনাক আমি দুর্নীতি বিরোধী যুব শক্তি অসম আর সৎক্ষতি প্রেস ক্লাবর সহযোগত আমি ধিক্কার জানাইছো আর নিন্দা করছো আর দোষী কঠোর কঠোর শাস্তি দিব লাগে আর অতি শীঘ্রে দোষীক গ্রেপ্তার করব লাগে আর ইয়াত আছে আপনার সৎক্ষতি প্রেস ক্লাবর সভাপতি শ্রী যুত আনন্দ তেরং ডাঙরিয়াও তেও দুই এখার মন্তব্য দিবলে মানে অনুরোধ জানাইছো যেহেতু অনব আগত আমার এন টি কার অফিসার যে পাওয়া আছে কাজিয়ং জেলা সমিতির সভাপতি কে গেছে যে যা ন তারিখে যদি কলকাতা যে মেডিকেল কলেজ যুজনী নিমিতা তখন সেকেন্ড ইয়ার যে ট্রেনিং লো আসে নার্স নার্সিং তো অকস্মাতক ঘটনা হয়ে গেছে তার আমি দুঃখ করছো তার আজ আমি গোটে কথা হয় এন টি কারাপশন জিও পাওয়ার অব আসাম কার্বি অনুন জেলা কমিটি আর মুখি প্রেস ক্লাব মিলে আমি ক্যান্ডেল লাইটিং Mpox, formerly known as monkeypox, has emerged as the public health concern in India. Reflecting a global trend in recent outbreaks, as of now, the Indian government and health authorities are closely monitoring the situation to contain the spread of the virus and provide necessary care to affected individuals. How does it spread? The infection can spread between people, mainly through close contacts. It can also be transmitted from infected animals to people who have close contacts with them, which includes skin-to-skin, mouth-to-mouth, or mouth-to-skin contacts. It also spreads by having contact with the things like beading, clothing, towels, objects, electronics, and other surfaces that has been touched by the infected person. What are its symptoms? Common symptoms include a rash, which may last for 2 to 4 weeks. This may start with or followed by fever, headache, muscle aches, back pain, low energy and swollen glands. The rash looks like blisters or sores and can affect the face. It can also affect the palms of the hand, soles of the feet, groin, genitals or anal regions. Lesions may also be found in the mouth, throat, and even eyes. The number of sores can range from one to several thousands. Several diseases due to mpox may include larger, more widespread lesions, secondary bacterial infections of the skin, or blood and lung infections. How do we prevent it? Avoid contact with infected animals. Avoid contact with beading of infected human beings and other materials contaminated with the virus. Cook all foods that contain animal meats or parts thoroughly. Wash your hands frequently. Avoid contact with people who may be affected with the virus. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. Wear mask that covers your mouth and nose when around infected people. Use personal protective equipments while caring for people infected with the virus. An earlier statement from World Health Organization stated that 99,176 cases and 208 deaths has been reported due to Mpox globally since 2022. Mpox cases have been steadily increasing in the Democratic Republic of Congo. 
Though there is no reported cases of MPOX in India as of now, the Union Health Ministry Check. has identified three center-run hospitals. Number one, Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital. Number two, Safdarjung Hospital. Number three, Lady Hardinge Hospital as the nodal center in the national capital for isolation, management and treatment of any patients infected with when the notification of the lateral entry came within two hours, we raised the issue through a tweet. It only proves that the people sitting in the central government are against Dalits, reservation and the constitution. They want to end reservation constitution. It's suppressing that when there is UPSC, civil services exams happen, but they want to include people in the bureaucracy. It is said that people sitting in the government, they call themselves Dalits, are keeping mum, be it Chirak Paswan, Jitan Ram Manji or even Nitish Kumar. If Ram Vilas Paswan would have been with us, he would not have allowed it to happen. They are acting on the behest of the RSS, we are against it and will oppose it, says RJD leader. Tejasvi Yadav as center withdraws advertisement of lateral entry in bureaucracy. जब लेटरल एंट्री की जब बात आई जब नोटिफिकेशन आया उसके ठीक दो घंटे बाद ही हमने जो है इस इशू को हमने उठाया और ट्वीट भी किया जानकारी भी दी और ये साबित होता है कि केंद्र में बैठे हुए लोग चाहे प्रधानमंत्री हों ये सब दलित विरोधी लोग हैं आरक्षित विरोधी लोग हैं संविधान विरोधी लोग हैं ये लोग आरक्षण को खत्म करना चाहते हैं संविधान को खत्म करना चाहते हैं अद्भुत है कि यू संस्था बनी हुई है आपका सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जाम होता है उसके जरिए परीक्षा नहीं करा करके आप जो है ऐसे ही आरएसएस के लोगों को बैठाना चाहते हैं आईएएस बनाना चाहते हैं आईपीएस बनाना चाहते हैं इसका एक पूरा एक नॉर्म्स है एक तरीका है परीक्षा होती है और परीक्षा होती है तो यूपीएससी में भी सारा जो है रिजर्वेशन का प्रावधान दिया गया है आप उसको खत्म करना चाहते हैं इसके बहाने और दुख की बात है कि सरकार में बैठे लोग अपने आप को दलित कहते हैं दलित के हिमायती कहते हैं और ये टुकुट टुकुट लोग टाक रहे चाहे चिराग पासवान हो चाहे जीतन राम मांझी हो या मुख्यमंत्री नीतीश कुमार जी चुप्पी साधे में आरक्षण खत्म हो रहा है तो ये बड़ा दुख की बात है रामविलास पासवान जी आज होते तो शायद ऐसा नहीं होने देते और रामविलास पासवान जी से तब तो उन्होंने अल्पसंख्यक के मामले में अटल बिहारी जी के सरकार से इस्तीफा दिया था ये लोग तो केवल मलाई सत्ता का भोगना चाहते हैं इन लोगों से कुछ होता है नहीं है आज देखिए ये इतना बड़ा इशू है कि आप जो है आरएसएस के कहने पे यानी आरएसएस के संघ के लोगों को ही आप नियुक्त करना चाहते हैं पॉलिसी मेकिंग और डिसीजन मेकिंग में ये लोग नहीं चाहते हैं कि बैक बेंचर ऑफ द सोसाइटी चाहे पिछड़ा हो अति पिछड़ा हो दलित हो या आदिवासी हो ये लोग उस पद पर बैठे ये लोग भाजपा के लोग चाहते हैं कि ऐसे लोग जो है शौचालय में बैठे ना कि Tensions escalated at Badlapur railway station on Monday as protesters clashed with police during a rail roku agitation demanding justice for a recent incident involving the alleged sexual assault of two nursery children. Demonstrators threw stones at police as they attempted to disturb train services chanting slogans calling for accountability and swift action from authorities. The situation intensified as law enforcement worked to contain the crowd and ensure safety at the station. Local leaders joined the protests, emphasizing the need for government intervention and reform to protect children and marginalize communities. Police have detained several protesters while urging calm and dialogue to address the issues raised. Authorities are closely monitoring the situation as the protest continues with community members expressing outrage over the incident and demanding justice. The rail roco agitation has drawn significant attention highlighting ongoing concerns about safety and security in the region. This incident has happened in a junior, uh, junior KG student. The principal and the class teacher and two assistants are suspended and uh, uh, whatever report I have received from our education officer 13th to 16th 
of this month the incident happened 18 the complaint was filed and uh, for nearly 8 hours or uh, 12 hours the cognizance was not taken by the local police station the lady senior pi is transferred outside but i feel that she should also be suspended because one should be sensitive about the incidences happening against the children and i have uh, called the meeting of my all entire department my all four is officers are there principal secretary are there and we have instructed that uh, we are not doing only today i have taken a meeting 8 months back also about the child safety and uh, we have formed a committee uh, so out of 1 lakh around 1 lakh schools 82000 schools already have a committee i'll recheck whether this committee uh, uh, this committee is formed in this school or not and again why the CCTV was not working that also uh, we have given the notice and I uh, sincerely feel that everybody should act in a manner that all the children in Maharashtra should be safe and that's why we are again forming Vishaka committees also like they have in um, various uh, organization commercial organization government offices so the lady students of uh, 9th and 10, our children uh, in 9th and 10th would be appointed on this Vishaka committee and we will see that every child is Vice President Kamala Harris surprise attendees at the Democratic National Convention on Monday, energizing the crowd and reinforcing the party's commitment to unity ahead of the upcoming elections. Harris arrived unexpectedly during a session focused on grassroots mobilization, receiving loud applause from delegates. In her speech, she emphasized the need for collective action, stating, We are at a pivotal moment in our history. It is time for us to come together and ensure that every voice is heard. Addressing critical issues like healthcare, climate change, and social justice, Harris urged party members to mobilize their communities for the November elections. She highlighted the administration's achievements in economic recovery and systematic inequality, stressing together we have made strides but there is so much more to do. Her surprise appearance aimed to reinforce party unity and enthusiasm amid emerging internal divisions. Party leaders expressed gratitude for her appearance viewing it as essential for rallying support and driving the agenda forward as the convention continues. Everyone knows that the Maratha reservation agitation is intensifying. Protests are happening at many places. If Devendra Fednavis is not obstructing the agitation, then how much time it will take to go to Delhi and address it? If he wants, he should go to Delhi tomorrow and meet the PM and to break the 50 PC capping of SC, then they will have to bring a bill and get it placed passed in the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. When he has been trapped, he is playing an emotional card, they know that they will lose election and that is why they are trying to delay it. Devendra Fidnavis has emerged as a villain in all this. People knowing everything, says Sif Shena, UBT, spokesperson Anand Dube, reacting to Maharashtra Deputy CM Devendra Fidnavis, saying that he will take retirement from politics if it is proven that he is obstructing reservation for Maratha community. Limited OPD services have resumed at R. J. Kar Medical College and Hospital in Kolkata after recent disruption caused by the staff shortages. Infrastructure, all issues and increased patient load, the partial reopening is prioritizing the critical cases, while patients with less severe conditions are advised to seek care elsewhere to prevent overcrowding. Hospital authorities are working to restore full services, emphasizing patient safety and care. The West Bengal Health Department is monitoring the situation and has pledged support to expedite the full reopening. 
They are also reviewing the hospital's infrastructure and staffing to prevent future disruptions. Patients and their families have expressed relief but are hoping for a swift return to full operational capacity. The hospital management is urging public cooperation as they work towards resolving the challenges. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi is set to meet the family of Arjun Pasi, a 22-year-old Dalit man, whose suspicious that last week had led to widespread protests and calls for justice. The meeting is scheduled for the Wednesday at Pasi's family home in Uttar Pradesh. Pasi's family and local activists allege that he was victim of caste-based violence and are demanding a thorough investigation. Gandhi's visit is part of his ongoing efforts to support marginalized communities and bring attention to social justice issues. He plans to offer his condolences and assure the family of his support in their pursuit of justice. The Uttar Pradesh government has ordered a probe into Pashi's death and police investigations are going on. Gandhi's visit is expected to intensify the demand for justice and put pressure on authorities to act swiftly while also consolidating support among Dalit voters ahead of upcoming elections. The President of India, Sripati Draupadi Murmo, conferred the prestigious National Geoscience Awards 2023 at the Rashtrapati Bhavan Cultural Centre. New Delhi today in the presence of Union Minister for Coal, Mine, Sri G. Kishan Reddy and Minister of State for Coal, Mines, Sri Shatish Chandra Dubey. The National Geoscience Award, NGA, is one of the oldest and most prestigious national award in the field of geosciences instituted by the Ministry of Mines, Government of India in the year 1966. Before the year 2009, these awards were called as National Mineral Awards. The objective of these awards is to honor individuals and teams for extraordinary achievements and outstanding contributions in various fields of geoscience. Therefore, mineral discovery, exploration, mining, technology, mineral beneficiation, fundamental applied geosciences. Any citizens of India with significant contribution in the field of geosciences is eligible for their vote. Assam Director General of Police, DGP, Gayanandra Pratap Singh said on sits being formed to prop the ULFAI linked bomb planting incident in the state. All the districts where suspected IEDs were placed by the ULFA, we have formed seats including Guwahati. All the sites are headed by either Joint Commissioner Guwahati or additional SP crime in concerned districts. Substantial progress has been made in all the cases in Sipsagar. We have already arrested four persons including one person who was part of the group which had placed the suspected IEDs. We are hopeful that we should be cracking the cases fully in very short time. Districts where uh, suspected IEDs were placed by Alpha, we have formed uh, Olympic. SITs, including Guwahati. All the SITs are headed by either Joint Commission of Police in Guwahati or additional speak crime and concerned districts. In uh, all the cases, substantial progress has been made. In Shipsagar, we have already arrested four persons, including one person who was part of the group which had placed these suspected IDs at a particular place. We are hopeful that we should be cracking the cases fully in very short time. We have also moved the government for transferring one of the cases of Guwahati and one case of uh, Lakhimpur to National Investigation Agency so that we can utilize the resources base and also work together along with the federal agencies to 
get to the bottom of this entire thing. All Olympian medalist uh, shooter Manu Becker was felicitated during an event at Chennai's Vellamal Nexus School earlier today. Manu Becker, born 18 February 2002, is an Indian short shooter and Olympic medalist. She won two bronze medals at the 2024 Summer Olympics in the Paris. She secured a bronze in the women's 10-meter year pistol event, becoming the first female Indian shooter to win an Olympic medal. Subsequently, she earned another bronze medal in the mixed 10-meter year pistol team event becoming the first Indian woman to win two medals in single Olympics. Previously, Becker won gold at the 2022 Asian Games in the women's 20-meter pistol team event. She earned her individual gold medal at the 2018 Commonwealth Games in the women's 10-meter year pistol event, where she set a new Commonwealth game records earlier at the age of 16. Becker became the youngest Indian to win a gold at the ISSF World Cup in 2018. Calling Prime Minister Narendra Modi, his brother, Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim, who is on a state visit to India, that there are many areas Malaysia and India are required to explore. Further, earlier today, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that India and Malaysia have elevated the ties to a comprehensive strategic partnership. Malaysian PM Dato Anwar Ibrahim also paid floral tribute to Mahatma Gandhi at Rajghat, Delhi. था प्रभावी रूप से लागू हुआ था उसके बाद से और कितना जो असर है या मजबूती जो है वो आर्थिक रूप से देखी जा रही है देखिए इस बात को हम जानते हैं मुकुल के लगभग यू नो तीन मिलियन के आसपास की जो एक इंडियन स्ट्रॉन्ग इंडियन डायट हो रहा है और भारत और मलेशिया की बात की जाए तो कई सारे मल्टीलैटरल प्लेटफॉर्म पर भी एक तरह से दोनों एंगेज करते हैं पार्टनर रहते हैं हम जानते हैं कि इंडिया आसियान के अंदर इंडिया और मलेशिया दोनों तो ही देश हैं साथ ही साथ जी ट्वेंटी जैसा प्लेटफॉर्म हो गया डब्ल्यू टी ओ जैसा प्लेटफॉर्म हो गया वहां पर दोनों ही देश यू नो आपस में इनकी साझेदारी रहती है अब इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट यहां पर ये निकल करके आता है कि नो डाउट इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी को तो बढ़ावा मिलेगा ही मिलेगा लेकिन भारत और मलेशिया दोनों जे जे सिंह फाउंडर ऑफ द इंडो पोलिस चैंबर ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्रीज expressed optimism about Prime Minister Narendra Modi's upcoming visit to Poland. Set for later this month, the visit aims to strengthen bilateral ties and enhance trade relations, particularly in technology, agriculture and renewable energy. Singh noted that the visit is a vital opportunity for partnership and growth, and he hopes for tangible outcomes that will benefit businesses in both countries. The Chamber plans to engage with stakeholders to discuss trade policies and investment opportunities during the visit. As preparations continue, both Indian and police officers are eager for discussions that could enhance diplomatic and economic ties. पीएम साहब आ रहे हैं आ, 45 साल के बाद प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ पोलैंड इंडिया पोलैंड आएंगे तो यही एक बड़ी बात है और इससे बड़ी बात यह है कि जो उनसे आपका बिजनेस रिलेशन है हमारे दोनों देश के बीच में वो बढ़ेगा क्योंकि इस तरह की विजिट जो उनसी है वो हेल्प करती है कि आगे जो प्रॉब्लम्स हैं दोनों देशों को बिजनेस के बारे में उससे काफी मदद मिलेगी इस वक्त हम देख रहे हैं कि जो खबर भी आ रही है कि फूड प्रोसेसिंग की इंडस्ट्री जो उनकी उसके बारे में बात होगी लेकिन उसके अलावा आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस उसके अलावा आपका जो सा है गेमिंग इंडस्ट्री वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है तो इन चीजों के लिए भी बात होगी विथ रिगार्ड टू दलकत्ता डॉक्टर रेप मर केस मोर देन फाइव हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स बॉयकॉट क्लासेस प्रोटेस्ट एट तंजोर गवर्नमेंट साराबोजी कॉलेज The Supreme Court on Tuesday set up a national task force, NTF, to examine the issues concerning safety and dignity of doctors and medical professionals and to address gender-based violence and other issues concerning well-being and safety faced by doctors and other medical professionals at workplace. The task force shall examine and recommend measures for the safety, well-being of medical professionals and other cognate matters highlighted 
the bench directed the NTF was directed to furnish an interim report in three weeks and a final report within two months. extensive search operations in Dudu area of Uddhampur, Jammu and Kashmir following reports of suspicious activity. The operations, which began early this morning, aim to ensure the safety and security of the region amid rising concerns. Local police and paramilitary forces are actively involved in the search, utilizing advanced equipment and technology to assist in their efforts. Residents in the area have been advised to remain vigilant and report any unusual behavior to the authorities. Officials have disclosed specific details regarding the nature of the suspected activities, but sources indicate that the operations are part of ongoing efforts to combat militancy and ensure public safety. The situation is being closely monitored and updates will be provided as the search progresses. This much for today. For more news and updates, keep watching Nagaland TV.